Hi beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. It's, it's very early in the morning, it's 10 past 7 and I'm getting ready for work but I really want to try this foundation and of course the concealer. I did order it on Beauty Bay, it finally came in stock, I think my shade. I have it in shade uh, N210, I don't know if you can see it here. And the concealer I do have in N20. So there you go. So I can't wait to try it out. I'm going to, to wear it the whole day. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited because I heard so good things about this, this, uh, these products. I have the palette with those, you know, kind of concealers or contour cream products and I do like it. I don't use it as much, it's because it's deep in my drawer, I need to take it out and use it more, but let's into this foundation because it's early and I don't want to be late to work. So I'm going to take my primer, I am going to use Milk Hydro Primer, Gripping Primer, it's one of my favorite primers. Use that, it's just one of the best primers and I use it with almost all of the foundation that I try out. And then I'm going to use this Nimia Instant Deep Puffing Cooling Stick under my eyes. It makes my concealer sit better and hydrates my other eyes a little bit because they are very dry. And I do have combination skin. Okay, so we are primed. I swatched this yesterday and I was really surprised that I almost nailed the color to the other foundations that I use. I compare it to foundations that I use daily and it looks to be a really good match. Now this looks to be a little bit darker but I do go like a step dark. My, my, this part of my body is very light though the other, you know, you can see the difference. It's a little bit dark so I can't match anything to my neck because I look too pale. This looks to be a really good, good foundation match. So we're going to one, two pumps. Two pumps should be enough. Whoop. Spread it out. I forgot my mirror. Let's take this one. Oh, it's thick. I think I've applied a little bit too much. Then it's thick. I went in with a little too much foundation. I do still look a little bit paler. Okay, so two pumps, it's definitely more than enough. It, I went on strong with this foundation, not expecting this to be this full coverage. And I do do like full coverage. It's the foundations I go to now. I can see that I have foundation on because I think it will look better if I use just a little bit of it, but I went in straight, but it still looks good. I mean, it does look like I... Hmm, does it? I don't know, this is a really, really thick foundation, full coverage, and uh, needs some time to be, you know, spread around with a uh, sponge, can't talk it so early in the morning, but I... I like it, I like it. Um, maybe it will look much, much better if I went just with a, with a dot of this. But I swatched the concealer yesterday and this is thick. I mean, thick as this. So I'm going to use just a little bit of the concealer on my hand and spread it with my sponge like this and then go in because I'm scared if I go straight, I will Definitely went too much with the, what, what it's called, the um, foundation. I don't want to go in too much with the concealer, but look, just a small dot covered this. Amazing. I really want thick concealer that it's not going to make my other eyes dry, but really conceal everything. And this is really a really ma good match for the, what's called, the foundation. <laughs> Sorry for talking this bad. Oh my god, I love the concealer and this will definitely last me a lifetime. 
it looks so good on my eyes. Okay, we are going to set it before it starts creasing it because everything creases on my eyes. I'm going to use the Too Faced powder, just have a little bit left peach powder. There you go. So. Mm, definitely looks nice. You'll see how it looks in real life when we go outside. Sometimes powder sits funny on the on the fun those concealers, thick concealers, and makes everything look, you know, cakey and uneven, and uh, it grabs for different parts on different parts of the. So sometimes it makes everything look colored and uneven, color uneven, you know. So. I'm going to set the rest of my face. Not that I need to set it too much. Let's go and use some bronzer. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced bronzer and my Cash Beauty One brush. It looks kind of funny here. On this part, maybe it's because I used this powder and I used a little bit too much foundation. So we'll see how it's going to look. This is a risk to go to work like this. Definitely, maybe a wrong decision. Definitely, maybe a wrong decision. But decision. What did I just say? Maybe it was a wrong decision to go with this foundation to work and not testing it out. But I take bad decisions all the time. So let it be. This one be the one. Definitely looks heavy here. Maybe it needs time to mix with my face oil. <laughs> but it looks really good from far. Close, it looks kind of heavy. Not heavy, but uneven here and on my nose. I'm going to use CBT, oh yeah, CBT blush that I really enjoy. It's number three. It's a little bit darker. But I really like this. I'm going to go and do rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the final look. It's very early, it's 7.30 and this is my makeup. I do have the, let me just say, pause because I'm going to forget to put it down in the description box. box. Wild, Wilderness from Beauty Bay. I have that palette on my eyes. On my lips I do have the Linda Hargonio lip liner in shade or crayon, crayon in shade, I don't know what shade it is, maybe it's called crayon. And I have the lip gloss from Lunar Beauty Celine on top. That's what I have. And I have She Glam Cosmetic Crystal Mousse Highlighter on my cheeks. So that's what I have on. And I'm going to go and wear it the whole the whole day. Right now it looks beautiful. I mean, with everything on and the setting spring, everything looks even and doesn't look cakey anymore. The nose looks here a little bit weird, but it did that in the beginning. This part looks much, much better. And I like it. It's full coverage. It's there, but we'll see. Okay, I need to hurry. My kids are calling me and um, I see you in a couple of hours. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. It's been a very long day, so it's almost 7 p.m. So I had this foundation on for 12 hours and let's see how it looks. My God, I'm so tired. Look, my, my eyes creased so much, but I'm tired. I didn't touch up anything. I did touch my face a lot today. I was sitting like this, sitting like this and I don't like how it looks. I think I applied a little bit too much or maybe this this primer doesn't work with this foundation because it does it did break up on many parts of my face. I don't know if you can see how ugly my face looks with this foundation. It went off here, it does look heavy, it does look cakey here and if you can see the nose is terrible. I do look oily but I mean it's not like too much oils like it sometimes can happen. Um, my face looks really textured, really heavy, cakey. Look at this spot on my face. Nose is a disaster. So the concealer I do like. The concealer is kind of good. The foundation, 
it was good almost the whole day, but then at the end of the day, it started creasing, it started looking terrible. So I will definitely use it again. Of course, I will use it because it's very hyped up, but I don't know if it's really worth the hype. I think I went a little bit too heavy and I think maybe the primer is not right. So I'm going to experiment a little bit more with this foundation and tell you later because many people like this. This was sold out for months on Beauty Bay and I mean the, the 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 what's it called the reviews are very good on different sites and people really like this though I'm not a big fan and I don't know if you will like this if you have dry skin because it's heavy and maybe I should apply it with a brush and apply just small amount maybe that will work better because it doesn't look good it doesn't look good at all. I don't like it. It's so cakey and so... Mm, no, my face looks so disgusting. I don't like it. Uh, I mean, it looked good for eight, nine hours, but then it started like just giving up. So that's my thoughts. I like the concealer more than I like foundation for the first impression. Now, this is just the first impression. Uh, usually foundations really tell me how they work after first impression. I have my holy grail my foundation Catrice. I do enjoy uh, this foundation from what's called it it cosmetics. I'm almost out now if you can see it's down here and I really enjoy the foundation from um, Rimmel. It's also a really good foundation and Estee Lauder double wear. I do also like uh, this uh, Atmographs. This is expensive one. I reviewed this on my channel too. There is a review about it. Wasn't a big first impression, first love, but if I use it sparely and I use it right, it works pretty good. So I think this foundation exactly the same thing. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's thick and it's really thick. This gets dirty very fast. It's very thick. So go light handed in it. And, but, mm, no, mm -mm. I don't look cute at all. But I like I do like the concealer. But you see, saw how I used concealer on my hand. Just tapped it around with my sponge. Dabbed a little bit here. I didn't went in like I usually do because that I think that will make everything look terrible and cakey. And I think that's what happened with foundation. But of course, sparely used more carefully, and I think it will work fine. Okay, guys, that was everything. Let me know down below if you tried this foundation. What's your thoughts? Would you like to try it? What do you think about it? I would love to know. Let me know down below if there are any other foundation you would like to see me reviewing. There will be more reviews of different foundations and BB creams on my channel soon. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video.